Good morning, everybody. We are here today for Rope Drop. Today is just a daddy daughter day. <gasps> Say hi. Are we gonna have some fun? What are we gonna go on first? Please, yeah, because why? <laughs> what are we gonna go on afterwards? Okay, and we'll figure out what we do from there, right? Sound good? All right, we'll check in with y'all later. One thing I did forget to mention with it being Women's History Month, uh, they actually converted the Mickey up front to Minnie, so we did spend a few minutes getting a picture over there. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. He is our guest today. In just a moment, we invite you to get your ears on and begin your adventure as you explore Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. For your safety, we ask that you please walk to your next destination. And we hope that today, you'll make memories that will last a lifetime. And I don't touch other people's stories. Huh? Well, that was another successful ride on space. As you heard her before, we are going to head over to Thunder Mountain right now and then probably stay over there. Put my face. Huh? Put, Put your face on? Okay. What do you want to say to everybody? Um, what do you want to say? Do you want to tell them what we're doing now? Thunder Mountain. Are you having so much fun already? Where are we at? Um, yeah. You ready for a fun daddy daughter day? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Say bye for now. Bye. It's crazy. So, forecast was for rain today. So, I do have like sweaters, changes of clothes, all that sort of stuff. But as you can see right now, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's some clouds but it might actually end up being a really beautiful day here. Time to hit up pirates while it's essentially a walk-on. This line's gonna get packed very quickly. Both sides will.
the lovely blue bio. <laughs> I'm hoping you get wet. All wet. Well, we got off of Pirates before the line got long and are now heading over to Fantasyland. She wants to ride on Peter and a few other things in there like Dumbo and Casey. So we'll hang there for an hour or two, catch up on some of those rides and then maybe head to Toontown, you know, play it by ear. Can't really get locked into a schedule here or else you'll be thrown off when lines are too long and whatnot. So yeah, Peter Pan time. Let's go ahead and soar. Walking through the backside entrance to the castle. That's where Bippin' Bobby Boutique is. Just the side way to get into Fantasyland, avoid some of those crowds. coming around the track. After this, we're gonna hit up Dumbo. We are just finishing up at Casey, and we're gonna head over to Dumbo now, now and as we say to ride the animals, the elephants. That's the end <laughs> of the lion. <laughs> So we just got off of teacups and it is starting to rain on us. Got to get the waterproofing up on the stroller. And we're actually making our way back over to space again because it was a pretty short line. So yeah. Monorail. Okay. Got the waterproofing up on the stroller. She will be good for the day. All nice and covered if I need to. I can strap down where the feet are. But yeah, I should at least help keep her stay nice and warm. Pass in the Finding Nemo area. Good old Matterhorn. Sky tram used to go up there. 
So, fun story, before the SkyTram actually shut down, my dad pulled an awesome move for us at the time. We did have passes, but he made sure that we were pretty much last in line, ended up being the second last family to ride the SkyTram before it ever shut down here. So, I actually still have some memories of that, even though it's been closed for so long. God, it was great. Hopefully they can bring something back like that when they expand the parts. If they're able to expand the parts. Big if. Hopefully. Really wish that goes through. Alright. Round two of Space Mountain. Get on this wall. It's still a bit of a short way. And before the rain gets here and drives people in. Okay, rain is really coming down now. We are heading over to uh, Mickey and Minnie Railroad in Toontown area, so gonna hustle and bustle over there. <laughs> Maybe get out of this rain for a bit. It's supposed to rain for a couple hours too, so. Yeah, but if not, we'll deal with it. Just some rain. Which most people here are used to that, but this is still nothing. Much better than dealing with the tropical storms and hurricanes that I had to deal with in Miami. <laughs> but yeah, everybody's trying to get into all of the indoor rides right now. Hide away from the crowd, so some of these outdoor rides might be a little more easy to get onto. Rainy day at Toontown isn't gonna stop us from having fun. Not one bit. Let's go to Manny and Vicky's Runaway Railway. Benny's just hanging out. And for those that were last here when Pluto's place was still under construction again, it is back open for everybody. I really like what they've done with Toontown. Oh, hiya folks! Wanna take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Are you talking to me? Do you mind all these good people into the car? Do you want to fix this here, Loki? Yeah, I guess I can do that. What could possibly go wrong? Thanks. You'll be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. Well, come on in, folks. Uh, I guess we're going on a train ride. Yeah, I'm going to make sure we don't touch the screen. It's already broken enough as it is. We've got to get that. Fast thing, fast thing. Welcome aboard, folks. We're ready for a relaxing ride around the world. Roger Rabbit's tombstone right now and probably go over to Small World after this and then the other part for the Food and Wine Festival. All right, we've knocked out Roger now as well, heading out of Toontown and it is 11 o'clock. So we got in through a lot so far today. Uh, rain is still coming down a bit lighter. Gonna go on small world and then from there probably head over to the food and wine festival like I was talking about before do soaring over California because personally I miss that like crazy and yeah we'll go from there right
getting off. Please remain road. seated until your boat and comes to a complete stop at the dock right and you are asked to rain. disembark. Thank you. Alright, so just waiting to get off of Small World right now. It's now just drizzling, right? Very light rain, sweetie. And so we're going to head over to California Adventure. Get some food. And now we're going to try out Soaring California. You've never been on that, have you? No. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Alright. Say see you soon, everyone. Bye. You can't say see you soon? Please remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop. Alright, so here's what I was talking about, the fuel rod portable charger station. Simply going to go ahead, throw it in. So that I want to swamp it. And then, ta -da. Brand new charge one. Alright. Successfully picked up Sip and Saver Pass and Tasting Passport. We went ahead and did the eight. For now, we're probably gonna come back and get another one. Um, but yeah, we went ahead and got it at Cats and Sons because line's pretty short. And yeah, we're gonna go get some food. Some right. characters out now that it is a little lighter up. Goofy time out, say hi. Just got off of Soarin' over California. And God, is it great to have that back i gotta be honest i had forgotten some of the scenes so much fun hannah absolutely loved it too uh we're on our way to go buy some of the food from the sip and saver uh, i did get a video so i'm going to be uploading that in here and on the channel too and yeah oh before i forget i did chat with one of the CMs and they said that the plan is to be bringing this back every Cali Food and Wine Festival. So if you do miss it this year, you should be able to still catch it hopefully next year and future years. All right. But yeah, we did get a good video too. All right. One cheeseburger bow. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is stuffed full. Basically, is a cheeseburger and a bow bun. Really good, too. Yeah. Uh, probably gonna get another one of those when we come back. Would recommend for sure. Um, think of it kind of like uh, an out of burger. There's a thousand island with pickle relish, the grilled onions, the meat, everything there. Obviously, no real cheese, but absolutely delicious. like the steak? Good. Good. How about your mac and cheese? 
Good. Would you recommend it for other kids? Yeah. Which one? Both of them? Or just the mac and cheese? Ah, okay, good. Time for a little bit of a brisket slider. Oh yeah. If you're a fan of barbecue brisket, definitely the thing. Now, uh, coming from a Jewish family, we love our brisket. Not as big of a fan of barbecue as our traditional like baked brisket, but still delicious. And obviously with the sip and savor when you're trying to maximize your value, getting a nice big sandwich like this really helps. You know? Alright. Alright. The oh <laughs> This steak is an uh, absolute favorite of ours. Year after year, we get it. Hannah had a couple of bites this time, and then she wanted to focus on her mac and cheese and whatnot, but the peppered bacon on that got a little too spicy for her and filled her up. But everything that you saw we got definitely would recommend, uh, especially for the price points that you're dealing with. Uh, we're gonna get some more food in a little bit, hit some rides first. All right. All done with food for now, like we were saying before. Now we're on Mater's, and then she wants to ride Ariel again. And then we're gonna head over. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna head over to the other park again because uh, Alice had shut down, as well as a few other rides, and she wants to get on those. So, we're gonna do those before we head out. How you doing? Good. You having fun? Excited for Mater's? Yes. All right. We got the Impossible Stroganoff, the Carnitas Mac and Cheese, and the Baja Fish Taco. Fish taco rolls, that was huge and absolutely delicious as you saw, I couldn't really get the words out where I was. The stroganoff was just okay, I'm not a big fan of it with that impossible meat at all. And then that giant portion of the carnitas mac and cheese the barbecue was amazing. Uh, nice and crunchy with those crispy onions and yeah would definitely recommend those two at least and yeah the stroganoff it just depends on your preference if you want a noodle dish um it was decent but i'd probably use my tabs elsewhere on other stuff or even double something like the bao bun but yeah rain's coming down pretty hard and consistently right now and she is done <laughs> with California Adventure after all most of her favorite rides are over on Disney anyway, so We are gonna head over there meet up with Grampy real quickly who's gonna be joining us now halfway through the day uh, Do a few more rides and then probably book it out of here and yeah Let's on head on back over <laughs> That was a nice little treat for her, especially with most of the characters not coming out with the rain uh, let up long enough where she could get that experience. And now she's just going puddle to puddle, jumping in and <laughs> getting everybody. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, the sun has come back and graced us with its warmth for a little bit. Uh, we are on our way to Thunder again because she wants to ride it. Not sure how much longer she's gonna last, but been a great day so far. Got in a lot done. And yeah, I mean, she's put up very well with all the rain and everything, as you can see. She was doing great, even happier now that Grampy has caught up with us. And so they're just hanging out together right now while we're watching. <laughs> but yeah. See y'all in a bit, we'll check in after. Well, she had another craving for uh, teacups, so went on that again, spun out a bit. Stopping over at Red Rose, gonna get some waters and ice for ourselves. Because we're now staying longer than we thought we were gonna be. Well, at least than I thought I was gonna be. She's really happy and enjoying herself <laughs> much more than I thought. So what ride are we going to ride on right now? Um, Peter Pan. Again? Yeah. Because you wanted to? Yeah. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. No, don't tie it on. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> well, we are about to call it a day. She demanded one more ride and everything she wanted to go on was like 60 minutes or like longer. So we talked her out of that and we're just gonna call it a day with one final ride on Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Cause it's about a 15, 20 minute wait. And then yeah, we'll be done. It is 4.15 and I'd have to say we accomplished quite a bit. Okay, sweetie. And yeah, even got those yummy, yummy cookies again from Harbor Gallery. Waited about like seven, 10 minutes today. So not bad at all. I'm gonna bring those home to wife and other daughter. Yeah. All right, we'll see you after Pirates. You can see things really cleared up after all of that rain. Rode quite a few of her rides twice. Would have loved to go on some different rides, but today was a daddy-daughter day for her and she was very patient while we went and got the uh, food and wine festival stuff. So, you know, all about the compromise. And yeah, now it's time to head home. I hope y'all enjoyed the day uh, and seeing all the food before you come and try it. And Gotten to do some stuff over in California Adventure, so we ended up back over here, knocked all of that out, managed to see Daisy, as you saw, get a little runway show with Hannah, which was kind of fun. She's still a little shy with that stuff, but you know, only a little girl, so happens. But uh, yeah, I got wrangled in to going on Mater's again, as well as Ariel again, since we were over here. Just caught some of that show that you saw. And now, <laughs> we are gonna head out. 
before she starts to get cranky, seeing as how I kind of woke her up at 5 a.m. this morning to head out for the parks. But yeah, uh, again, I hope y'all have enjoyed this and it's been a fun day for us. So um, yeah, I hope, you know, it was fun for you guys too. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Take care and enjoy food and wine festival.